Hello everyone, today I'm going to be using Posca pens again for only my third time ever. I'm really excited, I have a really cool idea for this one. Before I begin, be sure to like and subscribe and let's see what I can come up with. First, I grabbed my canvas and flipped it over even though I'm now realizing that canvases don't have an up or down, so it didn't really matter. And these are the eight Posca colors that I'm going to be using. I popped open the canvas and threw away the cardboard and now I'm ready to get started after an attempt at a pencil spin. And it didn't work, I need more practice on that. I'm gonna be searching that up later. But for now, I'm starting off with a sketch while I open this eraser and tell you a bit of a story. So if you've noticed, we're in a different location now. I'm at a different table because in the midst of starting this project, the basement flooded and I had to change locations after moving a variety of things, etc, etc. This is a couple days later, so let's see if I have the same motivation and inspiration as I did a couple of days ago to create this awesome Posca art. I started out by sketching out my drawing with a pencil on canvas, which wasn't very hard because I had a lot of time to simmer on what I wanted it to look like in my head. So it was a little bit easier to put it onto the canvas since I had such a clear idea. After I sketched it all out, I erased it slightly with the eraser, obviously. <laughs> so that way, so much pencil wouldn't be able to be seen through it. I created this skin color by actually using a little bit of the red and yellow Posca on this like waxy sort of paint palette paper that I have and then I mixed white into it and it actually worked which I was kind of surprised about. I still don't really know all of the techniques and ways you can use Posca pens so hopefully that's allowed. I mean, are there rules to art really? I started off using this light blue Posca pen and I have a pretty limited color range when it comes to Poscas. I have only eight colors and out of those eight colors, I have no orange, no purple, and no gray. And that might not sound that limiting, but when it comes to trying to create a full scope picture art piece, whatever you want to call it, it's a little bit limiting, so I did my best to stick with the Poscas as much as possible, but I also did use some acrylic paint with this as well to add a couple more colors in there so everything wasn't so matchy-matchy. Before I get too far ahead of myself, let me tell you a little bit about my ideas. So, I'm on a canvas today because doing the research, I found out that Poscas work really well on canvases because sometimes they eat at the paper with the nib being so rough, it can kind of make the little pills on your paper. So if you're struggling with that, try out a canvas. It worked really well. In terms of the design concept itself, I was kind of struggling with an idea. So I wanted to do this idea of a space girl, space themed kind of drawing, painting, Posca pen art, whatever you want to call it. So I had that idea in my head, but to be completely honest, I felt like that was kind of an ambitious idea and beyond my skill levels. So I was really hesitant to do it. But after some support from my family, I decided to attempt the drawing anyway and so that's what I did this is what it's kind of inspired by it's like a space girl space person in space so that's the vibe and it turned out really well and I also think that idea plays well with the kind of art that you create with Poscas Poscas are very limited at least mine are because I don't have a lot of colors so it turns out looking very block arty pop arty which I've really been liking to experiment with because it's a different style than I'm used to doing but it's actually really fun and it takes a lot of pressure out of trying to be perfect and how you blend and how you make things look this background color was created using only acrylic paint so that is kind of a knock. I was trying as much as possible to only stick with my Poscas, but once I realized I didn't have purple, it was pretty much all over from there because I had kind of originally planned to use a lot of purple. And then I was like, wait, I don't have a purple. So that kind of went out the window. And instead I decided to make a little bit of my own custom colors with some acrylic paint. 
One of my goals is to create an awesome work of art using only Posca pens one day when I have a huge collection full of all of the Posca colors of the rainbow. But for right now, this is what I came up with and this is what I have to do. So I also thought originally that I had gray and to my surprise, I do not. That is not one of the eight colors that I have. So I also custom mixed this gray, but I really did try for the main part of the drawing to use only Poscas, even for the skin color, even though I don't have a skin color shade at all of any sort, I tried to use those in pretzel break, snack break, get yourself a snack real quick. And then let's continue. I decided for these little side pieces, which I have not explained yet, to do a lighter version of the background color. So let me explain this real quick. I guess technically this would be the foreground. So in the foreground of this picture, I wanted to do an overlay that looks like the old word paint. It, well, it might still look like this. I haven't gone on it in a while, but I think a lot of us artists probably started out on this OG paint app on Microsoft computers. You know what I'm talking about. So this is what I wanted to do for the foreground of this drawing. I've never done it before and to be quite honest, I'm not always the best with a ruler. So straight lines are kind of not my forte, but we made it through it and I did a lot of winging it, which ended up working out too. My favorite part about drawing is the end when you get to do touch ups and you get to do details because it's so satisfying to finally see everything come together the way you had envisioned it in your head. It's really awesome and with the Posca pens, it's just amazing to me how opaque they actually are. I mean, they're just going over layers of acrylic paint with no problem, no blinking. They do not even care, not even phased at all. It's incredible. And even the lighter colors are like that. If you have Posca pens, you're gonna be like, well, duh, that's just how they are. But I mean, this is only my third time using them. And every time I'm still really amazed by them and really excited that they do their jobs so well. Using Poscas is also really fun because it challenges your color theory and it also makes it so you have to use colors that you might not be super comfortable with. I'm not used to using colors that are this pigmented. These are like neons sometimes. They are so vibrant and so in your face. You can't hide them and you can't tone them down. And if you can, I don't know how you can. So it's really challenging to use them and not be intimidated by them. I kept adding more details and line work to the drawing so that it had more contrast and so that it looked a little bit more the way I wanted it to. I like things to be popping the way I want them to and the places I wanted to stand out were her hair obviously, that's why it's blue and nothing else is except the stars. And then also I wanted to make sure that the background pieces were different and contrasted so that it wasn't too boring to look at, but also that it didn't overwhelm her. The whole time I was making this, I really wanted to jump ahead like all of the steps and go to the final details where I get to put in all of the little application images thingies i don't even know like the tools section i wanted to fill all that out put in these little arrows like i wanted to do this the whole time but i made myself wait till the end because i knew it had to be a last minute thing because it's sharpie and i don't want to have to try and change everything after that point like this is kind of the point where you don't want to mess up and you want everything to be done this, however, was my absolute favorite part, creating these little nostalgic little, I want to call them logos, but they're not, but you know what they are. If you know a word for those, let me know in the comments, but I loved creating these little detail parts. They were my favorite, and I also titled it at the top, Space Girl, kind of basic. I don't know. Do you name your art cool names? Because I'm not very good at that part. And then I finally added a couple of highlights to make it so the background wasn't so one-dimensional and it was pretty much finished. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I still have a lot to learn with Posca pens, but I'm really proud of this one. 
thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.